the bees are here. Today is April 22nd. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon. We've got overcast skies. Uh, really no air movement at all. We've got some wind coming out of the south, but uh, because of the hill, it's uh, this is really sheltered. So I really couldn't ask for a, a more perfect day to do this. Uh, I'm so excited. So we've got our two packages here. These have come from uh, Kelly Bees, actually. I thought they were coming from Man Lake, but apparently they, they work together. These are Saskatraz bees. We're going to put one in this hive, and there's another hive over there that are, are ready and waiting to go. And if you want to see how I put these hives together, uh, go back and watch my previous video where I talk about um, building these. I, we go through building all of them and uh, put them together. So um, with that, we're going to get started. I'm going to do something that may be a little unconventional uh, in this day and age. I'm a, I'm a believer in Christ, in Jesus. I'm a Christian. I'm going to ask God to bless these bees as we put them in. This is my first time beekeeping ever, and uh, we want to get this off to a good start. So if, if that's not your thing, feel free to skip ahead a minute or two. But if you, if you wouldn't mind uh, joining me in a little moment of prayer, uh, I'd appreciate that. Father God, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for creation. Uh, to me personally, this means to take care of something like this uh, is, is such an act to me of stewardship of everything that you've created, God. And we want to, in turn, give all the glory and praise unto you, Lord. Uh, we just thank you for this opportunity. Um, thank you for all those who are watching here. Bless them. And we collectively pray a blessing on, on these insects and what we're trying to do here uh, to create honey. Uh, such a such an amazing product for us as humans to enjoy and for the effects that the bees have on uh, crops and flowers and just the environment that you have created Lord and we want to give you praise for that bless these bees bless us as we put these in today um, they're in a tough environment here uh, where we're located here in central Illinois there's a lot of agriculture pesticides uh, the face of man is here a lot and um, very present and so we we pray for their longevity and their life and uh, bless the work that we do here and may it grow to to your plan and not something that that i would have would have thought up on my own father so we thank you for jesus and his death and it's in his name we pray amen thank you very much for sticking around if you did so let's get it let's go ahead and, and get these things going here and and we'll get them put in so uh I'm gonna move the camera, but I'm also, you see, I'm also wearing a, another camera here on my chest. So, so hopefully I can get in really close and you guys can really see the activity of the bees and what we're doing here. All right, so first we, get, we gotta get our strap off. We're gonna unbuckle this. So I'm, I'm using uh, just the, the bed of a gator here to uh, stage my stuff in I don't have a because I don't have a stand and I'm trying to decide if I need a stand so we'll see how this goes today and I might be building a stand okay this is a frame rest or a frame holder this is a homemade one I built this one uh, yesterday actually and uh, it's designed off of uh, one that I found online and I just uh, measured uh, the length of the frame so we'll see if that works so we're just going to set that right on the side. I scooch these to the side, four and three here. And then we're going to pull three frames out. I've got the, the better comb. I've got a full 10 frames of better comb in there. And this is just a little tight. Ah, they're going in on the outside there. That works. I'm going to have to modify the, the other ones there. You can see that one. That is pretty tight. We're gonna start with these girls right here. This is this is the gray hive. We're gonna call that the gray hive and, and the other one is green. We'll call that the green hive. Pretty original, I know. So we're gonna spray them with this. This is 50-50 sugar water with two teaspoons per quart of honeybee healthy as an essential oil. Gives them a little treat, helps mask some pheromone. Take this little cap off here okay and i'm also going to just barely loosen up there's two 
tabs here. Okay, I'm just gonna barely get those open. I don't wanna open this up yet. Okay, I wanna get those open before I get my um, can out. I have the pink dot, as you can see right there. And uh, March 2020, looks like they're good to go. My plan with Varroa is I'm going to treat them about five days from now. I'm gonna let them get settled in just a little bit and I'm gonna treat them then. Now comes the fun part. We're going to pull this can out and I'm gonna spray inside a little bit, carry this whole thing over here. I'm gonna open the lid and we're gonna, and we're gonna dump them in. So. Oh, they've got a fair amount of feed in here yet. That's a good thing. So as soon as I get this out, I'm gonna try to go slow with it. All right, and we're gonna pick this thing up. And we're gonna take this over here. Look how clean that is in there. That's really cool. And we're gonna get our queen out. So I'm just gonna grab a pair of pliers. Okay, here's our queen. They don't seem aggressive towards her. They're not uh, curling their abdomens or anything. They're not trying to get at her at all. They're sticking their tongues in there, trying to feed her. I'm gonna do a hard release on her. But first, I'm going to get these frames back in. And you can, you can see down in here, I have a uh, slatted rack in here. And so you can, you can see the surface of the slatted rack already and how a lot of the bees can just go down into there and give you space when you're installing them. It's one nice thing about that. So we're gonna slowly put these in. Not to, try not to smash anybody. There we go. So, slow and steady. They're not going around my face much at all. They seem pretty calm. Okay, I think they like their home. You can see them, see them with their abdomens up in the air. Just fanning their wings, they're spreading that pheromone around. That's a good sign. That's a sign they like the queen, they like their home. I think we made a nice mansion for them. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. Get our hive frame holder. All right, four to the side, three to the side, three out the middle. I don't know if I can get, if I could do that, I could get another one in there. There we go. Make, make that. It's amazing how the, the, the tone of the hum goes lower and lower when you spray them. It's calming them down. I use this any day over smoke, <laughs> just from what I've seen today. That's great. One mistake I made on the first one was I put this up and I just set it down and totally forgot that there's bees on the bottom. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. They didn't come after me, but I think I killed one. Uh, anyway there's a quite a there's quite a bit of ch these are heavy I mean they're two-thirds full this must have shipped really quick um, all right hey girls how you doing in there see that So I'm just gonna lay this on its side like that. Okay, here we go. 
Green hive. Bombs away. All right, pretty decent. There they are. Take this. Basically, this just slides out. And down. All right, let's see how we're treating this old girl. She's trying to get up through that screen and they're, they've got their heads in there like they're trying to feed her. I think they like her. I haven't had any bees trying to dive bomb my face or anything. These are just great. Okay. I'm forgetting something, aren't I? <laughs> Before I get this cork out, I need to get these frames put in. That's okay, I'm a newbie. I'm gonna make mistakes and I'm gonna learn from them. Once again, we've got all Better Comb uh, by Better Bee in here. These are fully drawn frames. These bees are not gonna have to do any work really to draw this out, because it's already drawn out. All right, we've got both of them in, Green Hive and the Gray Hive. They're both in. They're both really fanning really well. And uh, you can just hear the buzz and the energy inside of there. That is just, <laughs> that's just amazing. Oh, that's, this is why I get into it right here. And the honey, of course, I love honey. Gray hive too. There's a lot of them out on the, on the landing board. I already took away the, the, uh, the shipping container over there. Look at all the girls fanning on the front of that thing. Woo! They're all sitting there with their abdomens up in the air, just fanning that pheromone around, saying, this is our home. We like it. Oh, yeah. And we're going to put um, mineral oil in this pest management system in the tray. I'm going to check out this tray. Put some uh, mineral oil in here. These are really nice trays. Nice and sturdy. I only brought one of my bottles along. I didn't realize I'd use this much in it. I'm put this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the vent mode. Three, four hundred feet away is a creek. And so I'm very confident that they're going to find that and they're going to use that as their water source. That's going to have minerals and stuff in it for them. That's going to be good for them. And uh, if for some reason I don't see much activity over there, uh, I will put uh, over by the feeding station, I will put uh, some water for them. But I really don't think I'm going to need it. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to... This is a little piece of stainless steel screen material. So I'm going to make an entry, entrance reducer, if I can talk, out of this thing. So we're just going to fold this. And then we're going to roll it. Do another one here. Just like that. Now we've got an entrance reducer that is uh, vented. Look at that.